Hey romance readers, Linda here coming back at you with another video. I hope everyone had a fantastic day today. Um, posting this video late tonight because <laughs> it's been hard trying to do another video because I've been ripping and running doing Christmas stuff and but I wanted to get this video out because I wanted to do another giveaway. This was part two of my holiday giveaway. And in this giveaway, I'm going to pick a winner. Uh, on my other giveaway, I just uh, was giving away random books. Uh, and on this one, I'm going to pick a winner. And I'm going to let you tell me what book that you want. And I will purchase it for you. A book that you've been planning on buying but you haven't got yet. Well, you don't have to get it. I will purchase it for you for Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs> so all you have to do is be a subscriber and I need to be able to see uh, that you are a subscriber. Uh, 18 years or older. It has to be a romance book. And like I said, you get to pick the book and you just uh, list the book. Uh, list in the comments below that you want to enter my Christmas contest. And the book that you would like to receive for me if, you, if your name is pulled. And I will be pulling names on Sunday and I will announce the winner on sun, this coming Sunday. And hopefully I can get the book in and get it mailed out to you before Christmas. Hopefully. But if not, you can get a little after Christmas gift in January. Uh, <laughs> maybe at the end of this month or in January. But hopefully I can get it out to you before then. Um, so if you want to enter, just comment below uh, what book you would like to receive. What you would like me to purchase for you. And I will send it to you. Okay. And I also have a haul here. Um, if you see my other video, I went to this store called Book Attic and I purchased some book from there. And I also got some book from Amazon. Um, I've already opened them up and I'm just going to show them to you. So I'm doing a book haul and my little Christmas giveaway today. So let's get started on the book haul. Uh, first up, I have uh, Maljean Brooks. Have any of you read uh, any of her books? Um, I read that Iron Duke is a, she did, a, I think this is part of a series, uh, Steampunk. Iron Sea Steampunk Romance Series. And the first book I read in that series was The Iron Duke. I really enjoyed it. And I hadn't read anything else in the series. So when I saw this at the book attic, I picked it up. And this is Riveted. riveted. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a steampunk romance. And I really, I'm not going to read all the back, the synopsis on all of these. I just read a few. Um, I'll read you a little bit of this, this one. A century after a devastating devastating volcanic eruption forced Iceland inhabitants to abandon its shores the island became shrouded in secrecy five years ago Annika unwitting, unwittingly endangered that secret but her sister Kala took the blame and was exiled now Annika serves on the airship Pythion flying from port to port in search of her sister and longing to return home but that home is threatened when expedition leader David Castwise comes aboard. Determined to solve the mystery of his own origin, David was stopping nothing to expose Annika's secrets. But when disaster strikes, leaving David and Annika stranded on a glacier and pursued by a madman, their very su survival depends on keeping the heat rising between them and generating lots of steam. And this is Mal Jean Brooks Riveted. And it's a series. It's the um, Iron, uh, the Iron Seas series. And the first book in the series was The Iron Duke. If you haven't read that, check it out. I enjoyed it. And so I hope this one is good too. Next, I have When Sparks Fly by Autumn Dunn. And I got this one from, uh, I didn't get this from the book attic. I was in, I went to um, the Dollar Tree yesterday and I found this in the, in the book section. I was like, okay. And this is a futuristic romance. Let me see when this was published. Cause this book, like it, it didn't look new. Um, it looked like somebody brought their, this book from home and brought it to the uh, uh, Dollar Tree and put it in there and sold it because this looked like it's in so it kind of bent right here. But I read the back of it. It sounded interesting. It's a futuristic novel. Uh, and this was, let me see when this was published. This is not 2000, June 19, 2009. Let me see when Mal Jean books, uh, when this was published. This was published in 2012. And like I said, this is a futuristic one. And I'll read a little bit of this. Perhaps it was his wild black hair and indigo eyes. Or maybe it was his emblematic aura. But there was something about Hayna Blue that drew Jim. Hayna Blue? 
Okay. <laughs> the man had clearly done hard labor. His cybernetic implants gave him increased strength, but he was no longer whole, and now he was getting drunk in her tavern. Yes, Hayna Blue aroused instinct, both carnal and nourishing. Jim's blood had been fiery to start with. Blue heated it even more. And this is When Sparks Fly by Autumn Dunn. And I kind of like that cover, this part up here. Um, next I have Linda Howard and Linda Jones, uh, Bloodborne. I wanted to read this, but I never did get it. I was like, no, nah, I'm not finna buy this. Uh, but when I saw it in uh, Book Attic, and it was, uh, it was $4, I went ahead and purchased it. I'm not going to read the back of this one. I think this is like a paranormal. Yep, about vampires. And this was, when was this published? This was published in 2010. And this is about vamp some vampires. Uh, Linda Howard and Linda Jones. Next, I have Sandra Hill, The Love Potion. And this is a historical. No, is it a historical? No, it's not a historical, my bad. It's a contemporary. And this was published in 1999, and I paid three dollars for this at the book attic. I read a little bit of this. Fame and fortune are surely only a swallow away when Dr. Sylvia Fontaine discovers a chemical formula guaranteed to attract the opposite sex. Through her own love life, though her own love life is purely hypothetical, the shy chemist's professional future is assured as soon as she can find a human guinea pig. The only problem is the wrong man has swallowed Sylvia's love potion. Bad boy Lucien DeLuc, DeLuc is more than she can handle even before he's dosed with a jelly bean fix. The wily viral lawyer is the last person she choose to, su she choose to subject to the scientific method. The wily viral lawyer is the last person she choose to subject to the to the scientific method. I guess that is what that says. Hmm. And this is the love. Reading that part right there made me think like maybe I read this before. I'm not for sure. Hmm. Love potion, but I'll give it a try. But that sound kind of familiar when I after I, I, I read this again. Cause look like I read something about a love potion before i don't know if this was the same thing but we'll see and like i said this was published in 1999 next i have um tessa dare any duchess will do and this is a historical i'm not gonna read the back of that one uh this is also a historical a western joe goodman true to the law oh let me see when this was published the one by tessa dare Oh, and I paid three dollars for this one, and this was published in 2013. And then the Joe Goodman, uh, this one was four dollars, and this one was published in 2013. Also, I read a bit, little bit of this. Find her, find her is the only instruction that Private Detective Carl Bridger received from Andrew Mackey. This. The scone of a wealthy Chicago family, Maggie is determined to know the whereabouts of the woman who disappeared from his employ, taking with her something of great value. Intrigued as much by what McKay won't, Mackie won't say about the missing item as he is by Maggie's description of the missing woman, Cobb accepts the assignment. Br brittle, brittle of Brittle Springs, Wyoming, has a new school teacher who may or may not be exactly what she seen. Upon making the acquaintance of Miss True Morrow, Carl begins to question the guilt of this golden haired lady and the protective feeling she stirs in him. His investigation hinges on understanding where the truth lies. Can he believe in truth or is she just another treacherous woman out to swindle this hardened detective's heart? When I read the part about she was playing a school teacher, I was like, yep, I'm gonna get it. And this is uh, Joe Goodman, True to the Law. And I have two Joe Goodman. I got this one too. I had took a picture of this because I saw this in a bookstore and I had um, took a picture of it because I wanted to get it. I never did get it, but when I saw it in uh, Book Attic and it was $4, I was like, so. And this is The Last Renegade by uh, Joe Goodman. 
I read a little bit of this. As the owner of the Penny Penny Royal Saloon and Hotel, Lorraine Berry is privy to, privy to almost everything that goes on in Bitter Spring. Oh, I guess this is like something like a series because this also is in Bitter Spring, Wyoming. In, let me start all over. Loretta Bre Bre Lorraine Lorraine Bre I can't get it. I shouldn't have stopped. I should have kept on going. Lorraine Berry is privy to almost everything that goes on in Bitter Spring, Wyoming, including the including the bloodshed plaguing its citizens. With all of the good men dying at the hands of a local rancher and his three sons, Rain hires a shootist to be the town's protector. But her handsome new employee is more than a hired hand. He's a man who keeps his gun close and his secrets closer. And this is the last renegade, Joe Goodman. Sorry if I'm sounding kind of hoarse on here because I'm, I'm also getting over a cold. And my nose was uh, stopped up. So, yeah. It's, it's been one of those weeks. And I got another, how many tests are there? I got another test of there here. And this is, do you want to start a scandal? And I paid four dollars for this one at the book attic, and this caused I mean this was published in 2016. When was this? Did I see when this one was published? The last renegade. Uh, this was published in 2012. Last renegade. And this is 26. This was published in 2016. Do you want to start a scandal, Tessa Dare? I read a little bit of this. Was it Lloyd Canby? Was it Lloyd Canby with the maid on the oh on the night of the Parkhurst ball? Someone had a scandalous tryst in the library. Was it Lloyd Canby with the maid with the maid on the on the diving or Miss Fairchild with a rake against the wall? Perhaps the butler did it. All Charlotte Haywood knows is this. It wasn't her, but rumors to the contrary are buzzing. Unless she can discover the lover's true identity, she'll be forced to marry Pierce Brett. Brandon, Lord Granville, the coldest, most arrogantly handsome gentleman she's ever had the misfortune to, to embrace. When it comes to emotion, the man hasn't got a clue. And so, when it said he's the coldest, most arrogantly handsome gentleman she's ever, when you say he was the coldest, I was like, hmm, this might be interesting. So, let's see what's going on with this. With this one and it's a historical so you know I love a historical do you want to start a scandal by Tessa there and these other ones here I just ordered these these last three I got from uh, Amazon of course I had to get E.L. James darker because I got to know what was going on in Christian mind when all uh, when him and uh, what her name is Anastasia got together yeah I did read the first uh, book the first books with um a Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, she getting my money again with Christian version. <laughs> so this is Darker by E. L. James. And I'm not even gonna read the back of it. And the other two, I think I mentioned on here that I read the learning hours. So I also purchased um these two in the series and I, I think I mentioned that I got the um book one on my Kindle because I didn't like the cover um, the cover wasn't the same as these um, this is book three this is one I read and this is book two uh, of the um, douchebag series and book one is called let me see here if I can find it well, it's not in this one in the back of here I think it might be in this one it's called the studying hours that's book one this is book the failing hours book two the learning hours book three and the studying hours book one but I just I purchased these two because I like the cover on these two I gotta read this one right here I've read this one excellent highly recommend and I got to read this one but yeah it's, it's, it's a long way down on my all these books are way way down on my TBR to be read <laughs> but I had to get them so that's my little book haul for now that's all I got 
Um, like I said, I'm doing another giveaway. So if you want to participate, just uh, put the book that you would like to receive from me in the description below. And, um, and that you would like to enter this contest. And I will pull names on Sunday. And I will let you know the winner on Sunday. So that's all I have for now. Keep reading those romances. And I'll see you next time. Bye.